This isn't gonna do. All right, everybody, first two rows right here. Bring it in. It's better. Now, thank you for coming in on the weekend. I realize it's your day off, but we've only got 13 hours to learn about this new bill that my boss, your boss, the governor, signed recently. SB 1070. Know thy enemy. And right now, the enemy is the Mexican. The Mexican. These are the vehicles you're gonna find your average illegal driving. We got the landscaping truck, all right? We got the carrito, as it were. And your unmarked white van. In November of 2008, we pulled over a white van. It had no less than 200, 240 Mexicans. This is a time bomb. What has this taught us, folks? You cannot trust a Mexican. God, I love trust falls. All right, moving on. Our man Sanchez here has been implementing a lot of our tactics in the field. Can you go ahead and step out the car for me, please? Close it. I don't know what you're hiding or what you're doing in this vehicle here. It's my car. Are you sure about that? Why wouldn't it be my car? So you should know about vehicles similar to this? What? Tan? Long? What? Carritos. And that's not it, folks. Papeles. What? Papeles. Papa, I, I don't speak Spanish. Papeles. Papa, do, do you want this paper? That's how we do it, folks. The pepper patch. Now this patch will be worn on any Mexicans that are in this country legally. And it will tell us, the good guys, not to go after them. Now this is just a stopgap until we figure out how to do uh, tattoos, branding, and uh, planting microchips. But I think it's a step in the right direction. Sanchez here tells me that you're having some problems. It's just, you know, I. I can't always tell the difference between a Mexican or, or a dark Italian or an, a Jewish guy who hasn't hey, shaved hey, in a hey, while. Hey, buddy, it's okay. Listen, swing first, ask questions later, all right? That's all you gotta worry about. How hard you're gonna hit. All right, I'm gonna stop you right there. You gotta get out there and you gotta get aggressive, all right? Think of the Mexican as a cue ball. The harder you hit it, the more English you're gonna get out of it. All right, now let's do it again. Are we gonna have those dogs that smell out the Mexicans? I had a girlfriend once. When we kissed, she tasted like chorizo. All right, you've all done great. Now I'm gonna end this session with a quote that my pappy wrote. He lived by these words. If they're brown, take them down. <laughs>